hi there in my last video i showed you how to create a post grid today i'm going to explain to you how you can create a post slider from taxonomy i have created a few demos to show you how it will display once i will configure it so let's get started make sure that the wp carousel pro plugin is installed in your wordpress dashboard you can directly click add new or you can click wp carousel pro and then click add new to create a new slider and give it a title select source type as post you can create a slider with post pages and custom post types if you have any filter the post by latest taxonomy and specific select latest to display all the post in the slider select taxonomy to display post from specific category tag and post format and select specific to choose your desired post to be displayed in the slider so let's keep it as taxonomy and select a few categories from where i want to display the post in the slider select a relational operator from in and not in and set how many posts you want to display in the slider so now let's have a look at the preview you can see it is showing like a carousel not like a slider because we know the slider must be displayed in a single column so what you can do is go to the general settings and change the column value to one now if I update, you can see it is showing a single column slider. Go to the style settings to get more attractive features. Here you can set the content position to bottom, top, right, left and overlay. You have already seen the bottom content position. So I am going to show you how the overlay content position looks like. So select overlay and if I update the preview, you can see it is not showing like we expect the post contents are showing in a black color so we need to change the color to white as the overlay color is transparently black so go to the plugin typography settings and here you will find the post font related properties to be configured so let's change the post title font color to white and hover color to white as well so now if i update the preview you can see now it looks far better than before so now if i want to change the post title font family go to the typography settings again and change the post title font family to oswald if you want you can change the post title font size as well so now if i update the shortcut you can see this is how it looks so now the slider is ready to publish in your web page so let's publish the shortcut and copy the shortcode ID from the bottom of the page and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcode block, publish the shortcode and view it. So you can see this is how the post slider looks like. So let's customize it a bit more. Go to the shortcode again and go to the style settings. And here you can see you can change the overlay content visibility always or on hover currently it is set to always so let's select it to on hover and now if I update and reload the page you will see the contents are showing on hover you can show or hide the post title post content read more button date author tag comment count so if I hide the comment tag author date and update the shortcode and reload it you can see the meta informations are not showing in the slider so let's configure the carousel control related properties like navigations and paginations so go to the plugin settings again and go to the carousel settings and most importantly you can set the slide effect to fade so let's view how the fade effect works so this is how the fade effect looks like so let's hide the navigation arrow border and background color and change the navigation arrow hover color to blue and if you want you can choose an icon for the navigation arrow and change the icon size as well so let's change the icon size to 30 and if you want you can change the pagination related properties from here so let's change the pagination active color to red now if i update I reload the page you can see the changes there are so many ways to customize your post slider and give it an elegant look i hope you have got a clear idea of creating a post slider in the next video i'll come up with another feature of the plugin so see you in the next video